Hi, my name's Shauna, and I'm going to find the exact value of the inverse sine of sine 5 eighths pi. And I'll state the condition that must be satisfied to find the solution. So the condition that must be satisfied is that theta must be within the domain of sine. This is our theta, or technically our angle. And that must be within the domain of sine. And the domain of sine, as we know, is negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. It's that interval. So we have to determine if 5 eighths pi is within that interval. Um, if it were, it would make our situation very easy. Uh, it would make the input equal the output. And that looks like this. The input equals the output. And so basically, if this were within our interval, we could just say that the inverse of sine would equal the 5 pi over 8. In our case, 5 pi over 8, and I like to make it a decimal so I can see it a little bit better. 5 pi over 8. And if you just kind of ignore the pi for a minute and just look at it as the fraction, the 5 pi over 8 is actually 0 0.625. And our, our restriction is here, which is the negative pi over 2 and the pi over 2. If you again just ignore the pi for a minute and look at it for what it is, it's a 1 half. And so we know that 1 half is equal to 0 0.5. Make it match. Um, obviously, 5 eighths pi is larger or greater than one, uh, the pi over 2. So 5 pi over 8 is greater than pi over 2. So that means it is not within our restriction or our condition, which states that we have to be within, our theta has to be within negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So we have to take some additional steps. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map the angle that we have, the 5 eighths pi. I'm going to map that onto our unit circle. And so I like to make it a, a degree so that I can see it better. So five pi over eight. equals 112.5 degrees. Makes it more visual for me. And so we're at 120 right here on the unit circle. Our angle is going to be at 112.5. That's our 5 pi over 8. Okay, so basically what we have to do is we have to determine the reference angle, which is this space right here. And the easiest way to do that is to take a whole 8 pi and subtract our 5 pi over 8, which leaves us with 3 pi over 8. Okay. So we know that this reference angle is actually going to be 3 pi over 8. Now the next thing we need to look at is uh, we need to be within our restriction. So we're going to move this angle so that it's within the correct quadrant based on our restriction. So looking at our quadrants, we have quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. We are required to be within quadrant 1 and 4. These are these two quadrants here because it's the pi over 2 and the negative pi over 2 restriction. Um, in our case, 5 pi over 8 is in quadrant 2. And so we know based on previous experience that all students take calculus sine is positive in quadrant 2. So our reference angle, which is the 3 pi over 8, is going to be positive. Knowing that angle is going to be positive, that helps us to determine what quadrant we're going to end up in our final angle. And so we're going to 
put our final angle into quadrant one so that it's positive. And again, I like to convert to degrees. Makes it easier for me to see it and to put it onto a unit circle. So three pi over eight. sixty seven point five degrees. Here's your sixty degrees. So it's a little bit more than that. That's our new angle. It's positive three pi over eight. And so the answer to our solution excuse me, the answer to our question, find the exact value of the inverse sine of sine 5 pi over 8 with the condition that it's within the interval of negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. The solution is positive 3 pi over 8. Thanks for listening. I hope it's been helpful for you.